Welcome to the Federation. Oh, welcome back to the Galactic Federation Druid ship Earth One, 16,000 kilometers out in Earth space, and there's a countdown going on to 2012. Oh, a great unity, uh, just a great day. The streamers, the popcorn's cooking as we speak. We've got four years, around eight months to go before the alignment. It's a 26,000 year galactic birthday. What an enormous alignment. What a great day, what a great moment. I was lucky to be breathing. I mean, you could be a salamander stuck on a rock in a dry environment, but no, we're here, enjoying ourselves, having a great time. On this transmission, uh, we're looking at uh, Earth travel once again into the uh, into the heartland of uh, Central Australia, and uh, we're also looking at uh, another episode of uh, vegetarian cooking to make sure that uh, you have the right energy in your system to give you the pumphalata you need to uh, to keep going. Let's rock and roll. Hey, you beauty folks! Welcome to the Melbourne Airport. It's the 30th day of April 2008. I'm here with Joey. How you going, Dad? Yeah, good. New Guinea Wednesday morning. Nice day. Yeah. Go. Tommy heads back to centre. Very early in the morning, we're at, uh, about to piss off on a plane, go back to the Red Centre and catch up with Danny Boy and all the rest of it. So it's Melbourne Airport. We'll see you guys later. It's a Wednesday. We're looking at uh, some earth travel and some vegetarian food from uh, Joey's special soup. See you soon. Let's jump a plane. Yeah, catch you later. <laughs> You little beauty, this is Earth Sanctuary's Star Bar and uh, one of the masterpieces of Dad, Joey Fells on. Uh, nearly eight years ago we had this guy put up and uh, she's got to be one of the best views for a bar in all of the outback of Australia, if not the world, it's a big call. Um, we're here at the Sanctuary, hope you guys are well. And uh, this place has uh, been the home to many people over recent years, particularly school groups who have come in and uh, of all ages for that matter, to learn about spirituality, survival, uh, arts and craft, and uh, the need uh, to improve the way we look at the world in order to live more harmoniously on the planet Earth. This sanctuary has been uh, a wonderful learning curve for all our team here. It's given us enormous, uh, enormous insight into uh, the different walks of life and ultimately the importance and how uh, human beings around the world need to become grounded to find themselves and how they can live sustainably on the planet Earth. So on this transmission, guys, we're going to be looking at a little bit of some of the journeys uh, our team have taken in the adventures throughout the growth of Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre here in the outback of Australia. Uh, Danny Boy, what are you doing over there? Kevin. Hey, what's going on? Well played, Tommy. Where are we today? Well, I was thinking uh, all those journeys we used to uh, to whip around down to that wonderful big rock, and it's just it's uh, it was it was a, a cracker for us in the learning of, about uh, survival and bush foods and, and the Aboriginal culture. Absolutely, Tommy. Well, everything we've ever touched on with the Federation and uh, and um, particularly this 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 subject of travel and getting people out of their environments, um, experiencing new challenges in their life, meeting. Uh, people experiencing the energy of different locations around the world. It's something that's, uh, that, that we're very fond of, obviously, and very passionate for people to get out there and, uh, and endure themselves. Um, and uh, what a wonderful experience it has been and still is as, uh, as being adventure guides, uh, still flying down there to the rock. And, um, you know, we're uh, still supporting the, uh, the notion of getting out there getting off your ass and, uh, and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful planet as much as you possibly can. That's right, Danny. Planet Earth is what Earth Sanctuary is all about. Get to the, uh, the stable place within. You hear beauty. Nation or details of getting down to the rock, uh, Katijuta or Wataka or Alice Springs, obviously give us a yell and we'll, uh, we'll send you to the right uh, people or the right direction. Uh, it is essential that uh, people on this planet experience the beautiful energies of the earth. This is a matter of synchronization and the law of correspondence requires our inner self to, uh, to find that relationship again with the planet earth and the beautiful energies that exist here. So uh, good on you and uh, back to vegetarian, oh, Tommy. Vegetarian, why, crack? why we all talk about vegetarian, we, we know it's important and uh, it's nothing like getting healthy Danny and being uh, uh, true to your uh, to your physical self. Well, Tommy, absolutely, Tommy. We just want to see 
the health thrive on this planet and uh, it is about organics it's about the uh, these beautiful veggies and fruits that exist on the planet earth which can put back those essential minerals and nutrients back into your diet to make you feel better and you feel better you are better That's and exactly you treat right. the earth with, with love and respect so uh, let's go and check out a veggie soup once again good on you folks enjoy bon appetit a bon 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 a bon, a bon. bon, bon. Guys, we're in the uh, kitchen at Mount Martha. We're just going to do a mini training, so very quickly, uh, all vegetarian. We're just going to put in some um, one uh, small onion and a couple of cloves of garlic and uh, two potatoes there. Uh, we're just going to toss them in there, let out. So we'll just cook those slowly and uh, with vegetables, just cook them in priority of cooking so they don't feel uh, cooked. So onions will take the longest to cook, followed by tomatoes, then we'll put the collie and, uh, and some other goodies. Uh, catch you soon. Okay, there you have it. It's just um, cooking very gently. That's our potatoes, onions and garlic with a little bit of water and olive oil. And to go in now, is going to be um, some carrots and of course uh, the cabbage and then the cauliflower so we we'll just add those in bit by bit and you just let them cook very gently and then we'll add some more things uh, in a little while Your 10 minutes training, you little beauty. There you go, it's going nicely. So, uh, all I've got to do is uh, put in some of this um, U Beauty uh, tomato paste, it's uh, good stuff, and uh, a couple of those, and also my um, penny pasta. So, I'll just throw those in and um, it's virtually there, and just let it simmer in like so and it's the most hardiest of winter meals there's a lot of history in there there we go just maybe a little bit more of this uh, new beauty pasta and as you can see just coming on really nice nicely so the only thing I've got left to do is throw the penny pasta, it doesn't need very much as you can see, uh, probably about uh, 200 um, grams there. So, oh, that took probably 20 minutes for the vegetables to cook, and then I'll simmer for about another 20 minutes and it'll be ready to eat. Go on there, Jerry. Yeah, okay, it's all sorted, so you can just have a look at this now and the pasta and the vegetables so it's a, a vegeroni uh, pasta and by the way you can actually uh, use vegeroni or um, vegetable based uh, pasta too so i'm just going to uh, serve a, a little bowl here for uh, chair leg that's right chair leg that's right chair leg you go and tell me what he thinks you know yeah, that'll be sufficient so normally you do that you can serve it with uh, a bit of parmesan, if you like, and, and finally a, um, a chili with a nice bit of black. Like that. And that's it. Chili will tell you what it's like. It's edible, I don't know. Bloody good tucker. Yeah, little beauty. It's got a bit of curry in it too. Just a tad. Mm. Nice. What do you call this one, Joey? It's the uh, minestrone with uh, with pasta, obviously, and a touch of, um, of curry. Ideal for winter. Ah, oh, welcome back. Oh, I feel like I've been to Rural Room and back. It's just a fantastic moment of time. Tomorrow's episode, again, we're looking at global rescue. I'll see you next time. Yeah.